We are happy to announce our first RC Trainer Airplane Balsa Wood Kit. It is called Tanner. What you see there is the first version of this kit. It's completely laser cut, so everything will fit perfectly. In this video I'm going to build it and I'm going to show you the whole process, and then we're going to fly it. More information about this model airplane will be available at joyplanes.com, link in the description below. A longer video with more details about the construction and also pictures will be available for this build. Again, check the description below. Let's start by taking out all of the pieces from the balsa wood and the plywood. And then we're going to need a very flat surface and we're going to need some baking paper or some transparent plastic. The building process starts with the fuselage. Make sure to lay down these pieces like a mirror. One of them have to be the mirror image of the other. To lay the plants flat on the table, I'm going to loosen it a little bit and that way it gets softer and it remains flat easier. To be able to attach pins, I'm going to use a foam board underneath the plants. For time's sake, I'm going to speed up the whole process of the build, but remember that the entire video is still available. Check the description below. Before covering the rest of the fuselage with the balsa wood sheets, I'm going to start making the landing gear with this wire. This wire is included in the kit. Make sure to have the right tools to bend and cut this wire. Some good and strong pliers and wire cutters are recommended. To attach the landing gear, I'm going to use some epoxy and some more balsa wood. Then I'll join the wires with some thread and glue. The wheels are also included in the kit. The front part of the fuselage uses a very strong plywood reinforcement at the bottom of it, and that makes the fuselage very, very strong against any crash. The landing gear was also designed to withstand a lot of crashes and abuse, and it works just fine. I'm going to start building the horizontal and vertical stabilizers, and then I'm going to move on to the wings. The kit comes with a lot of balsa wood strips of different sizes, so it's a good idea to measure them and make sure we're using the right ones, especially because some of them are very similar.
The toner is available in two different versions. The difference is basically the wing. One is with ailerons and the other without. Building the wing is just a little bit more complicated than building the fuselage, but it's not that big of a deal. If you follow the video you will find that it's very straightforward. As you can see everything fits perfectly because of the laser cut. At this point we're going to start sanding out the imperfections of the surfaces in the wings, the fuselage and the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. The ailerons have to be sanded as well to give them some angle in the joining part, that way they can move freely. And now we're going to reinforce the midsection of the wing with some fiberglass. The fiberglass cloth is included in the kit, but you'll need some epoxy. I'm going to use the same one I used to glue the landing gear in place. I also recommend using some surgical gloves to avoid discomfort while working with fiberglass. Working with fiberglass is actually very straightforward, as you can see in the images. This adds a lot more strength to the wing. You can skip this step, but I recommend using the fiberglass. And of course, this should be applied on both sides of the wing. After that's done, the main structure of the airplane is ready. to use a generic covering material you can buy online for the red color and for the blue color I'm going to use solar film. To apply the covering you'll also need a special iron, but you can also use the normal iron, it's just going to be more uncomfortable and the results might not be as good. I also recommend getting a heat gun, that way we can stretch the film and the results are a lot better.
To attach the ailerons, I'm using some more film, but I actually recommend using some clear tape, and that worked just fine. Now we're going to work on the push rods and control horns. All of this hardware is included in the kit. I'm going to apply some extra graphics that I made myself with vinyl, but this is not included in the kit. You can make your own graphics and color selection. I'll also build the other wing for the Tanner S1, which is a wing without ailerons. You can buy whatever version you want, but you can also buy the wing kits separately. Since this wing doesn't have any ailerons, it will be a lot easier to build. Apart from the lack of ailerons, it also has a greater dihedral, and that's to compensate for maneuverability with the rudder and also some stability. I'll cover this one with a different design, using some transparent yellow and white. At this point we're pretty much done. I just have to do some setup in my radio, and after that we're ready for the maiden flight. Don't forget that it's very important to check the center of gravity and also the control surfaces. This model airplane was designed for beginners who want to experience the building and flying of their own first model airplane. But it's also a great choice for those who have more experience who wants to have a smaller model that can perform very well in the air. Flying the S1 version is also very fun and simple. It only has three channels, using only the rudder, elevator and throttle. If you don't know how to fly yet, maybe this is the perfect choice for you. But after you gather some more experience, you can try the S2 version, the wing with ailerons. That's the one I prefer. This model airplane is completely original from Joyplanes in association with k -Kids. Check out our online store in the description below along with all the other information you will need. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next project.